What's up everybody, welcome back. I am taking my wife fishing today. We're gonna try to catch some dinner. I'm at my uh, parents' friend's house right now. He's got a catfish problem. They got a pond behind their house and they put catfish in it and they've just been breeding nonstop and they have way too many catfish in their pond. So we're gonna come over here, try to catch a few catfish. And now I think I'm gonna put them on the smoker. I've never smoked catfish before, but I'm gonna try it. All right guys, they, they didn't have any worms at the store, so I got some dough bait and some frozen shrimp. I don't know what they're gonna eat. I think they'll pretty much eat anything because there's just so many catfish in here. But we'll try the, uh, we'll try both of them. Let's try a little shrimp first. I brought some different poles. I wanna, there's some big catfish in here too. I'm gonna throw a uh, big bait down in the deep end and see if we can hook into a big one. Try this one. Oh, there you go. There you go. You got one. You got one. Feel it. First fish. Oh, just a little guy. I got nasty dough bay all over my hands. Cute little one. Oh, I got one right here. here. One just bit it right there. All right, I'm gonna leave that out of the water for a second. I don't I'm gonna keep this guy, he's too small. I'm gonna try to get some bigger ones. All right, so I pressed some of this dough bait on this bigger hook. I'm gonna throw this one out a little deeper, see if we can catch a big boy. Uh oh, back. Apparently they like the shrimp, so we'll try another shrimp. Oh, here you go. I'm getting little nibbles on the big bait. Look there, so. so I used to come here when I was little. Me and my mom, my mom would bring me out here and I'd just go fishing. I think the biggest one I pulled out of here was like 30 pounds. It was a big catfish. Oh, you're getting bit. Nope, not yet. You are getting bit. You want to take in your bait. Can you pull it? No. Leave it for a minute. There you go. Get it, get it, get it. Get him? Mm. Here, reel it all the way in and see if we can see if they took the bait. Don't let the dog bite it. Alright, it's still there. Ooh, I just got bit big on this one. You got one. You got one. Did you get him? Yeah. That's him. Oh, he uh, got off. Man, that must be the spot. You come off. Here, let me see the hook. You put yours over there in that spot. So I'm just taking these little shrimp. Just hook it right. The frozen shrimp aren't that good, but just hook it right in the back of the tail, and then casting it out, and they're going right after it. I think it was a little one, though. Well, we need dinner. All right, I got one on here. Here, hold this. Oh, he came off. He broke the line. Uh huh. Oh. The big weight came off. Dang, I'm gonna have to put another big weight on. Here you go, here you go. Oh, pick your bait again. There's catfish everywhere in here. That's it. Oh, 
That's good right there. Perfect. Oh, it's already going down. There you go. Get him. Oh, yeah. You got that one. That's a better one, too. Bring him up. Oh, yeah. He's a eater. Awesome. You can get him? Well, where's that? Here, look. I'll show you a trick. Next one you catch. Just bring it over here to the cooler. Just get it with the pliers. Just grab the hook with the pliers. And drop him in. That's it. Let's get some mo. Oh, you already got one. Get it. Is he on there? He probably took your bait. Yeah, he took your bait. Here. That's the back in your. Oh, there you go. You got one. I think you're set up in the wrong spot. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, get him in. That's a good one. Yeah. We need about 10 like that. Heavy. That's a good, oh, that's a good one. I'll let you get this one out. That's the size we're looking for. Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. That hook was on that dog's nose. Cool. Nope. There he is right there. Got him that time. We'll throw him back. He's too small. Here, just hold him over the water. No, bud. Back, back, back. Hi. What? Oh, you got his whiskers. I'm getting bit. Oh, I got one. Got him. He's not a giant, but I think he's a keeper. No, oh, maybe not. He's pretty small. Oh, came off right at the boat. All right, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna put about five shrimp on here. No, dog. I'm getting one. Here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hurry, I'll pull. <laughs> that's a good one too. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, oh, you broke the hook off. Really? No, you didn't. You bent the hook. What the heck? That was a good one. I think you should go to a bobber. I ain't, like I ain't no bobber fisherman. So I get in trouble because she lost the fish. That's how that works. Is he on there? Yeah, he is. Real. He's got a perch. I didn't even think it was on there. You can take him off. He'll poke me with his fin. No, he won't. Once you grab him. There you go. Ow! Yes, he does. I don't like to do it like that. <laughs> He'll just do it. No, he just cut me. All right, I got one off. On the dough bait. He's a keeper. The circle hook does the trick. So like that. Awesome. There you go. You got him. Big one? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Sorry, get it before I lose it. Here, give him some line. Back up. Got him. Perfect size. I think I'm beating you.
That one. Hooked up again? How big is he? It feels kind of big. He's dragging it like he's big. <laughs> what? what a, he felt so much bigger than the last one. Eh, back, back, back. He's all yours. He felt a lot bigger than the last one. You got a good one. That's a good one. Put him in the cooler too. Alright, we got enough for dinner. We're gonna catch a few more just for fun. And then uh, we gotta go get some wood for the smoker. And then we're gonna head to the house, smoke these puppies up. Alright guys, we made it back to the house. Came up to the pond. We're gonna clean these guys up. Alright, all you need for this, a pair of pliers, uh, catfish skin and pliers work better, and then a good sharp knife. So I'm gonna start with the little guy. They're good and dead. What you wanna do, make an outline down. Go down, come up to here, come down each side. Get that skin all the way down. It is if I had better pliers. So that's like what it looks like on one side. You just basically take their take their skin off. All right, so I got all the skin off on either side. And you want to just take your knife, come in right there on both sides, come down, and you just break it. Basically, just break his head off. That goes in, that goes in, and uh, take out the innards. And that is your clean fish. You can take these, uh, take these fins off. like that and that's what's going to be smoked give them a good wash put them back in the cooler need another one take your skin down cut them right there break it And there's a clean catfish. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish cleaning these up. I'll see you at the smoker. Took a few fillets off. Angel doesn't like picking off bones, so I like smoke fillets. See how that turns out. All right. So we still got a little ways. We still got a little while till dinner. Um, I'm gonna brine these for as long as I can until dinner time. Take a Bud Light, just any beer really, and uh, pour it in there and just let them soak in that beer for a little while. Put them in the fridge and just uh, let these guys soak for a little while and then uh, they'll be ready to throw on the smoker. Alright guys, I just put the fish on. My wife was filming me, but the mic wasn't on. so. Take a look at it. I put some uh, mullet man seasoning on there and a little bit of garlic powder. Take a peek real quick. Ooh, that looks good. So I laid some foil down on there just to keep the fish from falling through the grate and stuff like that. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave them on there for about an hour. But time will tell. I'm gonna come check on them in 30 minutes and see what they look like and then go from there. All right, let's take a look. They've been on for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes, and they are done. Oh, that looks so good. Can you see that? 
That looks amazing. Now, right, let's go inside and try it out. All right, guys, I'm gonna make a little sauce. I'm gonna let this cool down for a minute, let it rest. So I've got some real mayonnaise. Take about two tablespoons. Big tablespoons. Put about probably a tablespoon, a little more than a tablespoon of ketchup, and then some uh, Worcestershire. Not a whole lot. That's all you need right there. Take some pepper, fresh pepper. Round that up, and then just mix that around. This sauce is super good on uh, fried fish, and it's really good on fried chicken. Angel eats it with crawfish. I don't like it on crawfish, though. So. Right, I'm gonna do a little taste test real quick. Let's try it without the sauce first. Mm. That is so good. Let's try it with this. That is better. I like that better than fried catfish. That is so good. I've never done this before, and that is amazing. You liked my fillets. I know, I need to eat it off the, the whole fish are mine, hers are the fillets. Right. Try it without the sauce first. I'm gonna pick her on the bone. It's good in there. Really good. I like that. What's up? It's good, isn't it? All right, guys, we're gonna sit down, have this meal. Um, if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. I'm doing a giveaway on my bow to automatically get entered in the bow uh, drawing. Go to our merch site, get any piece of merch, and it will enter you for the drawing. We're gonna finish up this fish. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll be in Canada pretty soon, hunting bears. So stay tuned for those videos. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good. If y'all were wondering, the fish off the, uh, like the whole fish, is way better than the filet. I don't know why, but that is so good.